Hi friends, good afternoon to all. Myself Srinivas and my friends Lohit, Joel, Morris, Nacharan, Sangmestra, G. Srinivas are going to give a presentation about respiration system. In what is meant by respiration? Respiration. The process of inhalation and exhalation is called respiration. First, inhalation. Taking of oxygen into our body is called inhalation and releasing of carbon dioxide through our body is called exhalation. Today, I would like to give, tell about the pathway of air. First, pathway of air. What is meant by pathway of air? Air enters into our body through nostrils and blood. There are many parts between nostrils and blood. They are first nostrils. Air enters into our body through the nostrils. Next, air enters into nasal cavity. In nasal cavity, air gets filtered and its temperature is brought close to that of our body and become more moist than before. Next, air enters into the pharynx. Pharynx. It is the common passage of both digestive and respiratory system. Epiglottis. A flap-like muscular valve controls the movement of food and air towards their passages. Next, air enters into the larynx. Larynx. When air passes out of our lungs and over the vocal cord, it makes them to vibrate. Next, air enters into the trachea. It is a wind pipe and it is in tubular structure. Next, air enters into the bronchus. Bronchus. It, it, it is a wind pipe and divides it is a wind pipe and divides into two bronchus or one leading to each lung and next air enters, enters into the bronchioles bronchioles number of branches and small branches called bronchioles next air enters into the alveolus in alveolus air get air exchange takes place and sacs of air cluster of air sacs called alveolus and next air enters into the blood in blood uh, blood carries oxygen to every part of the body and receives and take carbon dioxide from them and carbon dioxide will go through the same process out of our body in the same way this is the path this is the diagram about pathway of air this is nasal nostrils next enters into nasal cavity and next enters into the pharynx next larynx next trachea next next bronchus next bronchioles next this is alveoli in alveoli gases section takes place and next one enters into the blood. Thank you. Next part will continue by Logit. Please, please take. Thank you, Srinivas. Let me explain about breathing. Steps of respiration. There are five steps of respiration. Breathing, gases exchange at lungs level, gases transport by blood, and gases exchange at tissue level, cellular respiration. Breathing. Breathing is the process of inhale and exhale. The lung, the organs are mainly involved in this process. You can you see your lungs? You can't see your lungs, but it is easily feel them action. Put your hand on your chest and take breath. You will take breath. The chest will have slightly bigger and breathe out the air and you feel that your chest comes in regular shape. The lungs themselves can either draw air or push it out. Diaphragm. The diaphragm. The, fl the flexible flattened muscle is called diaphragm. And the diaphragm is contract. This comes to flattened shape. And the diaphragm is relaxed. comes to dome shape. The diaphragm which helps that moving moving of the air into out of them. The ribs, the ribs are the rib cage is, the ribs are the chest wall is made up of ribs, muscles and skin. When you, when you are breathing, chest expand, diaphragm contracts. When you are breathe out, chest contracts, diaphragm relax. Next part will be continued by Joel. Please take over. Thank you, Lohit. Now I am explain about gas section at lungs. Sir. It means sections of gases between lungs and, blood cap lungs and blood capillaries. In this process, alveoli are used to carry out the breathing process. The oxygen inhaled by the alveoli are diffuses into pulmonary capillary networks that surrounded them. And it attaches to the hemoglobin molecules in RBC and circulate around the body. RBC means red blood cells. It is in bright red color because it is in bright red color because it was oxygen rich blood. And thank you. And the next part will continue by Nakshiran. Thank you, Joel. Let me explain about the gas transport by blood. Transport of oxygen, transport of oxygen, blood capillary of alveoli. Transport of oxygen, bed capillaries to alveoli, to body cells and return of carbon dioxide. Transport is the medium for oxygen and carbon dioxide. Transport of oxygen, 3% of oxygen carried through the blood plasma. 
97 percentage of oxygen carried ca transported by rbc means red blood cells in the blood at the lungs concentration is high the oxygen blinds hem hemoglobin and forms oxy hemoglobin it color bright red in color transport of carbon dioxide 7 percentage of carbon dioxide is carried through the plasma 20 to 25 percentage of carbon dioxide combines with carbo amino hemoglobin 70 percentage of carbon dioxide is transported by carbonate this is pulmonary artery this is pulmonary in this is this is alveoli this is rbc red blood cells uh, then next part continued by sangameswara please take over thank you nacharan now we will explain about gases exchange at tissue level the tissue cells are continuously using oxygen hence the concentration of oxygen is very low as the concentration of oxygen is low oxyhemoglobin dissociates into oxygen and hemoglobin hb and o2 hb o2 gives rise to hb plus o2 this will be continued by this one. thank you sang mr raut now i am saying about cellular respiration using of a cell using of oxygen to produce a cellular cellular process to produce carbon dioxide on the uh, water cellular to water releasing of energy releasing of energy is used for say, life process during cellular respiration glucose molecule gradually break down into co2 h2 and energy is also released the store the energy is stored in the form of adp adp is energy currency of the cell in eukaryotic cells cellular respiration takes place in presence of o2 that is aerobic respiration cytoplasm and mitochondria are the sites of the reaction adp gives 7200 cal calories of energy and mitochondria mitochondria from the broken down of glucose the energy is released and stored in the special compound known as adp the energy is stored in the form of phosphate bonds if the bonds are broken the stored energy is released mitochondria is a powerhouse of the cell percentages of gases in inhaled layer and exhaled layer oxygen approximately 21 percentage in inhaled layer and approximately 17 percentage in exhaled layer carbon dioxide approximately 0.04 percentage in inhaled layer and 4 percentage in exhaled layer nitrogen approximately 78 percentage in inhaled layer and approximately 78 percentage in exhaled layer thank you